warts are small and thick benign growths on the skin that are caused by human papillomavirus or HPV. Plantar warts occur on the bottom of the foot, which makes them very uncomfortable to walk on. It feels like there is a stone in your shoe. They are often on the area of your feet that experiences the most pressure, which may drive the wart to grow flat but deeper under the skin. Most of the time plantar warts do not require the care or treatment of a physician. Following a few simple steps at home you can treat the warts you have and prevent more from occurring. Recognize the limits of home remedies. Although treatments at home are effective, they will usually take many months to be effective. If you want your warts to disappear faster, it's best to seek the care of your doctor. Permanent eradication may still take a long time, even when warts are treated by a doctor. Plantar warts will often disappear on their own and will not leave a scar, however, this can take several months to happen. The warts may be painful and it will be difficult to walk in the meantime. Prepare your plantar wart before treatment. Soften the top of the wart by soaking your foot in warm water for several minutes. Then take the excess skin off the top with a pumice stone or nail file. Be sure that you don't use this stone or file for anything else, ever, as you can transfer the virus to other areas of the body. Removing the top layer of dead skin will help the product to go deeper into the wart. Try a salicylic acid treatment. There are a variety of topical, on the skin, over-the-counter products, such as Compound W, that treat plantar warts using salicylic acid. Treatments come as liquid, gel or patches. Follow the directions on the package to successfully remove your plantar wart. Salicylic acid treatments are not painful but it can take several weeks for full results to appear. Try duct tape. Duct tape should be cut to the size of the wart and placed over the top of it for up to 6 days. On the 7th day, remove the tape, soak the foot for 5 minutes in warm water to soften the dead skin on the top, and then use a pumice stone or nail file to buff off the top layers of the wart. Replace the duct tape for another 6 days. Do not use the pumice stone or nail file for any other purpose. This process can take several weeks to see results. It is not known why this process is thought to work, but many have good results using this method. Investigate home freezing compounds. The freezing process works to close off the blood supply to the wart. There are over-the-counter medications you can use at home to freeze the wart, including compound W freeze off and Dr. Schall's freeze away. Follow the directions on the product you are using. Freezing at home will be uncomfortable and some will consider it painful. A doctor can use a local anesthetic to freeze the wart deeper. Image titled Get Rid of Plantar Warts, Verrucas, Step 66 Determine if it's time for a physician's care. While plantar warts are often treated successfully at home, there are times when you may need treatment from your physician. Visit your doctor if any of these complications occur, if the wart does not go away after treatment or if it appears to go away but returns quickly. If the wart grows larger quickly or appears to cluster. In this case it may be a mosaic wart. If the wart starts bleeding or you have more pain after treatment. The area becomes red, swollen, or starts draining pus. This indicates that the area has become infected. If you are a diabetic, have peripheral vascular disease or coronary artery disease. If you suffer from these medical conditions it is important that you do not treat your plantar warts at home but get them treated from a podiatrist who will monitor your peripheral vascular supply to the feet. These conditions increase the risk of infection or tissue death because of poor blood supply. Please subscribe to our channel and give this video thumbs up. Share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.